Oh! Dressing room! Nice, so I can equip my new... Now I can equip my new wings. Oh, R3. Okay, dressing room. Hey, look at this. Wings of companion, wings of dissension. They're all four star. I guess it's just for aesthetics. A stylized wing glider that can be used to cross the celestial heights. Stylized wing glider, which is inscribed. The wish to soar together. I like the wings of companion. Oh, shit. There's like an entire passage on this. That's kind of cool. Wings of Dissension. That's really cool. There's like a lore for all of these. The game's fun and there's gotcha elements, but maybe late game. Oh, yo, another waifu. Are you kidding me? Jesus. Christ. Oh my God, Team, another one. I can't deal. Way? Holy shit. I thought we agreed to meet them here. <laughs> there have been sightings of storm terror outside the my city. My God. Once we meet, we must relax. Okay, this is actually comes. like top tier waifu. Gene. Oh, that's Gene. Whew. I tell you. And once it was over, I brought them straight here. Monstat welcomes you, Windborn Travelers. Thank you. I am Jean, acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. This is Lisa, our resident librarian. Lisa, eh? She's got the, the death hair style. Got her hair off to the side, like tied up. She's gonna die. <laughs> oh, <laughs> are you sweeties here to help us out? Sweeties? I'm no sweetie, I'm very rugged and manly. <laughs> You're both so adorable. Don't, don't treat me like a, don't treat me like a child, God damn it. Sadly, the timing is regrettable. Storm terror has caused quite a ruckus in the region since its recent resurgence. Simply put, Mondstadt's elemental sphere and ley lines are now akin to a yarn ball in the paws of a kitten. For a mage, it couldn't get much worse. My skin is one elemental particle away from a full-blown breakout. <laughs> oh, and she's a mage? That's cool. <sighs> If it weren't oh, I mean the wizard hat. The knights got like a Rabadon's death cap on right now. Better ways to help you than just putting up missing person posters. We simply ask that you repose in Mondstadt while we help you seek out Ooh. your sister. Paimon will help too. Good job, Good. Paimon. In that case, we need a plan. With Storm Terror now directly attacking Mondstadt, we may have an opportunity to cut this problem off at the source. Yeah. Lisa has revealed the sources of Storm Terror's power with her detection magic. Cool. Is that so? That's pretty badass. They're located in the abandoned Four Winds Temple. Storm Terror's ability to whip up these kinds of storms can be attributed to it drawing power from the temples. I think I saw one of the temples on my way back. Our objective is to deal with three of the four temples. I trust everyone understands why we are only dealing with three. Paimon doesn't. Yeah, uh, must be a local thing. Knights of Favonius, time is against us. The storm is rampant. There's no point in maintaining a defensive position. All right, we need to take initiative and act before the situation escalates. Yeah, lip syncing is pretty annoying, but I, I drained it out at some point. Uh, wish feature has been unlocked. Uh, wish upon, oh, uh, is the wish feature like multiplayer? Let's see. Beginner's wish. 10 set, 20% off, first 10 to, okay, okay. Uh, I have no idea what any of this is. Oh, that's the other dude. Oh, that's cool. Venti? Wait, 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 are these characters or equipment or both? Okay, so this is the gotcha element of the game. Okay, I've never played a gotcha game. Like, I, I guess I have, but I've never like went in, like went all into gotcha. So I really don't know what this is. All right, so we have Noel the Chivalric Blossom. All right, we'll do this. Don't disappoint me. I will protect you. Oh, shit. Yo, this is kind of cool. Oh, magic guide. Masterless Stardust. Uh, okay, another one. Oh, so we're getting weapons. Ooh. Ningyong? Is that how you say that? What the? I have no idea what's happening right now. I'm just getting a bunch of shit. Uh, another book. Another character again. She's four stars. Hey, and we got the girl that was on the thing. Noel. I have no idea what the fuck is happening. <laughs> I got like a bunch of holy shit. Okay. Okay. Are we good? We good? I have no idea what the hell's happening. Convert. Is that a good thing? I have no idea what just happened. Are you kidding me? What the fuck? Streamer luck? What the hell? Two? Wait, two? What? Two? 
two of this character? Is this character good or something? I have no fucking clue what just happened. I don't play gotchas. I have no idea what the hell any of this is. Arnold, you just got a hell of good characters. All right, time to time to pack, time to sell my account on eBay for tens of millions of dollars. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's cool. I I guess I have no idea what the fuck happened. Anyways, let's uh let's back up. So now how do I Oh, there they are. We have no what? Oh, wait. These two are both of the same element, though, so I can't use both of them. All right. So we do have four members now, which I... That's kind of cool. Oh, party setup right here. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Oh, there they are. Okay, sweet. So now I have them. We have Noelle. Oh, look at her. Oh, I can already see how how this company is going to make their money in this game. You know what this I think this kind of reminds me of like the that fate grand order game. Like basically you're just playing for waifus. <laughs> so Noelle's cute. And then we have this chick. Lord knows what she can do. Is that gold rocks she's throwing at? What the fuck? I have no idea what this is all about. Hold on. Let me see what her. Whoa. That's cool. It's like a barrier. That's kind of neat. Wonder what her moves are when she's uh when she jumps. Hey. All right, let's switch out to Noel. Oh, she's got she's like the little girl with the giant fucking claymore. I love that. Hey, nice. I like moves. Oh, okay, so this is like Link's like swirly uh charge up attack too. Nice, nice, nice. I like this. Jump. Yeah, I expected that much. I guess a lot of how they're going to make money is based off of like releasing different characters in different elements with different weapons and movesets and stuff like that, which I guess keeps the game fresh. At least you're not playing with the same character over and over. I expect the combat. I don't know if the combat will be complex. Like if you'll do more than the combos that you're already doing or if the main aspect of the combat is between like elements like mixing and matching elements between the four characters that you have in your party. From now on, the adventures will probably get more and more dangerous. We should make sure we're prepared. Damn, Storm Terror we could fucked start this by place going up. To there is co-op at level 16. Oh, that's fun. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Right, I do want to see what this chick can do. Just because uh y'all have been hyping her up in the in the chat. Saying that she's busted and that I'm super lucky and oh my god, RNG Jesus is on your side. Crystallize. Whoa. Elemental reaction, crystallization. Oh, Geo. So she's earth based. When Geo comes in contact with hydro, pyro, cryo, electro elements, crystallization will be triggered. This type of elemental reaction can generate corresponding elemental shards and provide your character with a, with a various with various elemental shields. Use crystallization to, re to effectively reduce damage taken in battle. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Not bad. Oh, I see it. I got the shield now. That's badass. I like that. Elemental shields absorb damage for a character, but sustain too much damage and the shield will break. Oh, it will fail, obviously. Oh, there we go. It's one of those consolidated wind things. Okay. Let's head back to the statue of the seven at Windrise and offer it to the gods. Oh. Well, you should come with me. Paimon will tell you about the rest later. All right. Um, let's switch real quick. Sweet. All right, down on the D-pad will bring me back to her. Yeah, she does a lot of fucking damage. Holy shit. And I'm level one with her, bro. <laughs> kind of busted, not gonna lie. Yeah, kind of busted, not gonna lie. I see what you guys are talking about. I just took out two level nines by myself. I like her though. I like her a lot. Yeah. I wonder what her main, like, what her big attack is actually. Let me see. Your life is mine. Oh, that's kind of cool. Crystallize everything, damn it! Leave nothing alive. <laughs> My goodness. Actually fair, by the way. I don't know what you guys are talking about. She's completely balanced. I like that it shows that uh, it shows every party member like if their abilities are act like if their ultimate abilities activated. All right, hold on. I'm gonna 
I'm just gonna activate this. I'll come back here later. I... It's a statue of the seven. Oh. Let's make an offering and see if the gods respond. Oh, I thought this was uh, the teleporter statue. Isn't it? Is this still a teleporter statue? Oh, shit. Oh, dear. <laughs> Oh no, I can't do this. I okay, I gotta I gotta back up. I gotta go back. Offer. <clears throat> Sweet! Another one. Oh, air currents. That's pretty neat. Can you feel the blessings of the seven? In Mondstadt, people call them animacula. They can be fitted into the statue's eyes. Some stories say the statue's eyes originally had gems that were taken by swallows, but animaculae never had a physical form from the start. People with visions collect them to offer to the statues as blessings. Unlike others with powers, you don't have a vision. But then the rules of this world don't apply to you anyway, so... Oh. Keep offering animaculae and maybe you'll receive more blessings. Will do. I do want to try out Noel real quick and just to spread some of the love, share some of the love. Oh, look at that. We need some new targets and we got some. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Whoa, she's got a shield too? Oh, fuck. Yo, Noel doesn't fuck around. Holy shit, she's a badass. He's not about that life. Get him. <laughs> Oh, I think I like her more now. Actually, oh, that's a, such a toss up between these two. I don't know who I like better. I don't know who I like better now. Holy shit. I need to figure out. I need to figure this out. Holy crap. Yeah, Demacia. <laughs> she just pulled a page out of Garen's book. I can already see how much I'm gonna enjoy this game solely based on the characters. All right, let's let's uh, let's grab some of these and try to get back to the objective. That'd be great. All right, I'm also gonna switch to you because you have fire. And I need to... Oh, hold on. There we go. Sweet. Got him. Oh, that's a big sword. Hey. Yeah, she also cuts those things down way better. And I was saying that earlier. I was like, I wonder if better weapons are better equipped to take down the, uh, to take light to, to mining and stuff like that. And her sword just like cut through that shit like butter. I really like this game. <laughs> I really really like this game and i've been needing a game to oh this guy's level 14 so you know what let's bust out the uh the op mega hacks real quick and uh see where that gets us actually hold on real quick i actually want to use this then switch to her and see what this does all right well this is a little unfair direct hey we got him yeah i really like the game i'm uh, i'm a huge fan Please go buy this game and play it. You'll probably enjoy it just as much as I do. I'm probably going to play this game all day now. I'm having a lot of fun. Like, I honestly thought jumping into this, I thought it would be lit. I literally thought it would be like a, like a Breath of the Wild, like clone. Like, oh, great. Like, how much will I really enjoy this game? It's, it's literally another Breath of the Wild experience. And I think the one thing that they did that deviates from that is the change in characters. You got a character with a sword, you got a character with a, with the you know, elementals, you have a character with a bow, you have a character with a heavy sword. And then it's, it's anime as fuck too, like the anime scenes and stuff. And it's free, by the way. This game is free, so the only way you probably wouldn't play it is if you're not a fan of open world or you don't have time for video games right now, which I completely feel you on that. Uh, let's see, okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Okay, so you know what? This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Who is that over there? <laughs> Who is that? Who? What? <laughs> Imposter. <laughs> it's like that Spider-Man meme where it's like the, the two Spider-Men are po pointing to each other. Uh, I think we just broke the game. This should not be happening. This is impossible. What is going on? <laughs> Who are you? Oh, this is awkward. So, yeah. Um, evil twin sister. They completely left that out of the plot. You know, these things happen, of course. Uh, yeah. So let's just, uh, let's just pretend this that never it. happened. One of the deserted temples <laughs> of the Four Winds. These temples have been left to waste for years now. 
The people of Mondstadt almost never come here. There's a chance there's a monster nest or hillatrol camp inside. <sighs> Even Storm Terror has given up on its own temple. Did you just say its own temple? So I guess that's why they said three out of four. Yes. I also find it hard to accept, but Storm mm -hmm. Terror was once one of the four winds. Storm Terror found out about some shit and he's like, fuck this, I'm out. Huh? <laughs> Wait, did you just feel that? Pain crushing regret. The wind here. Something's off. Let's go in and take a look. Be careful. The dragon's power is disturbing this area. All right, I think we're about to get into our first boss fight, ladies and gentlemen. What is happening? I. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> this shouldn't be happening. This break this game this is breaking my gaming immersion. I'm out here trying to praise this game, and then you do stuff like this. I can't play this game. I take back everything I said. Don't buy this game. Don't support it. Zero out of ten. Would not play again. Thanks for tuning in for the stream, everybody. Good night. <laughs> oh. I, I take back everything I just said about what I just said. This game's 10 out of 10. <laughs> that was so adorable. Oh my God. How are you gonna do me like that? Oh my God, that was so... You can't make this shit up. I, I didn't even plan that out. I didn't even know that was... I didn't even know they had like idle stances. Okay. You won me over game. I'll bite. God damn it. Okay, um, oh, okay, okay, so these are like dungeon raids. Recommended level four, recommended level 20, so I gotta be max level to come back here. Uh, the Knights of Favonius have uh, mobilized to contain Storm Storm Terror's destructive rampage, venture forth with Amber, the outrider of the Temple of the Falcon, and stop Storm Terror from gaining power within. Okay, sweet, I guess we have, we can, you, you get more than four, oh, and you can have like multiple presets of party members so i only have four members right now so this is my main party but then you can have up to three other preset par how many characters are in this game that's what i want to know maybe i don't want to know maybe maybe it's too much to bear maybe it's like uh that depends arnold how many characters are in the game that depends how much money you got 30 characters holy shit even 30 characters that's a lot because you can only have up to 16 characters on those four preset pages that's a lot that is a lot. All right, give me one second. I have to use the bathroom. All right, so we're back. And uh, we got Noel. We're, we, I think we have to... Whoa, what the heck? Wait, did we, didn't we? did we come in through this way? How the hell... Uh, okay, anyways. What is this? Open door. I really like Noel. Oh my God, she looks so badass. Oh yeah, what the hell? How did we get here from, from here? Did we take a wrong turn somewhere? Oh, well, I took a wrong turn somewhere because the game was like, hey, buddy, that's not the way you're supposed to go. Okay. We... Wow, I can see so far into the temple. All right, let's see. Uh, Amber has the ability to shoot and aim while shooting. Her arrows can accumulate charge. Once fully charged, the arrows can imbue pyro. Use pyro to dest to ignite. Okay. I See, it's another thing, too. Object <gasps> like Things like objectives or puzzles or things of that nature, each character, it, like, it's based on each character. So, for example... This is the first temple you go to, so you need Amber for this temple for stuff like that. You need a fire-based character for stuff like that. Um, so I, I like that too. There's a bit of strategy when it comes to who you decide to take with you in a temple. Obviously, you want to cover your bases. You want, you know, a wind character. I have two earth characters right now, but uh, Noelle is also earth-based and she has a, a barrier. So you can like put a barrier on her and just fuck shit up. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's get these all out of the way. Door of Resurrection activated. All right, use Elemental Sight to see Elemental attributes, attributes in different ops in different objects. Each element has its own color. Green symbolizes Dendro, which can be ignited by Pyre. Nani? Oh, oh, whoa! That's cool. So up on the D-pad is like the information. Left on the D-pad is like. You get a glimpse at what your character's element affects in the world. That's really, really neat. Yeah, so all of the wooden stuff. Hold on, what's this right there? Oh, hold on. Ah, now he sees me. Alright, so this is the resurrection 
I assume if you die. All right, buddy. You're about to get wrecked. All right. Geronimo! All right. You, you messed with the wrong little girl. Go, go, Baron Bunny! Distract him! Ha, you fool! A what? The fighting must have got them riled up. Oh, okay. Well, good thing I prepared my secret weapon. Baron Bunny! Explosive puppet Baron Bunny! Oh, that's what they mean. Okay. So I guess this is the tutorial to, to use her abilities if you hadn't already. Steady as oh my god, I love Noel, dude. I think she's my favorite character. Like my favorite fighter to play as. Oh my god, she's so fun. The combat's really satisfying. Nice. Sweet! I use Ning- I put Ning in like my back pocket because I feel like she just does like an absurd amount of damage. Whereas everybody else is kind of like, eh. I guess it's situational how I decide to use these guys. Oh! Are those explosive barrels over there? Well, one shot should be able to blow them up. Boom! <laughs> Baron Bunny, get him! Noel, get him! Nice. Don't think I forgot about the main character. Sweet. Yeah. Such a fan of the game already. I already like it. Holy shit, I already like this game. All right, let's, uh, let's grab this potato. Oh! It's so high. Seems like there's something up there. All right. But how do we get across? Fire. Oh, isn't this a oh, pyro monument? Oh, look at this! If we hit it with a powerful pyro attack, wow. we might trigger it. Some Breath of the Wild type shit right there, dude. I'm a fan. I love it. You love to see it. Right. Dragons! Ooh, what that? What's that? Great! Let's smash it. Say no more. All right. <clears throat> oh, that was easy. Holy shit, that was easy. Phew, I'm tired. You're tired. You didn't even do anything. But at least this way we've helped Jean out. I'm just kidding. In the past, we were at least able to defend the city and keep it safe. This, of course, is mostly thanks to Jean. But now, with Storm Terror directly attacking the city itself, the winds change. So, too, should our tactics. Sounds deep. <laughs> Did you just come up with that? What's with these sarcastic, snarky, savage-ass responses, dude? <laughs> it's what Lisa likes to say. Oh, uh, Lisa. Mwah, chef's kiss, Lisa. Speaking of which, the four wins we were discussing earlier... You know what's gonna suck? Choosing who to have in my party now. Like, that's gonna be the worst of it. If you want to learn more Especially about if our Lisa history, joins. you can ask Lisa. God damn it. I like all the characters I have. I'm not saying I don't know our history. It's just, I mean, a librarian is supposed to be more knowledgeable than an outrider. True. Right? Big facts. All right, let's see. <clears throat> Challenge complete, precious chest. All right. Oh, is that it? We're done? GG, pack it in, boys. That was easy. Nice. Uh, meet Kaya at the temple. Okay, so we're going to four different temples. Okay, so the next temple we'll be going to. Look at that! She slices through the iron chunks in one slice. All right, we got to use Noel. Oh, I'm sorry, we got to use Amber for this one. Yeah, I think Noel's gonna be like. I really, ho I really hope I. Oh man, now I want to aim for like a level five Noel because I think this Noel's a level three. Amber Ruby Volume Three flashbacks. I know, right? She kind of looks like a young Raven, believe it or not. Like I think she looks like a young Raven mixed with like velvet a little bit because the bow on her head looks like rabbit ears. So her name's Amber. So it's like Fall Maiden, Spring Maiden, and Velvet. So. It's a classic triple threat right there for Ruby reference. I do want to get the drop on these guys. Thousand Winds Temple. Appropriately named, I will say. Noel is trying to get into some mischief right now. So we're going to... We're going to ever so slightly... 
get the drop on these guys. There you go. Oh, whoa, this guy's got wind too? What the fuck? Oh, hold on, hold on. Do I wanna, do I, am I feeling risky? Am I feeling risky? Hold on. Hold on, come back over here, buddy. I got something for you. Enjoy the last moments of your life. There you go. All according to Keikaku. Okay, this guy's win. I gotta take him out. I wonder what her ability is, actually. Oh, that's pretty badass. That's pretty sick. She does like this giant win. What? I still have it? Oh, shit. Yo, she's my favorite character, bro. Oh, I love Noelle. That's such a sick ass ability. And she's got a fucking barrier, too? Holy crap, that was awesome. I thought it was just the one slice and that was it. And then I was like, wait, it's still going. <laughs> that was clean, dude. Holy shit, that was clean. I like that. I'm a fan. Yeah, Someone I think Noelle's assistance. my favorite. I think Noelle's my favorite. Noelle's... Uh, another thing I like about Noelle, you can do the combo and then bust out the shield and the shield stuns them. Oh, okay, this guy found me. All right, Cryo Abyss Mage. Okay. Interesting. <clears throat> Melt. There you go. Get him. Leave it all to me. Come on. GG. Nice. Rhythm 10 Goku. Sweet. That was a pretty fun fight. Okay, we have another another base. Uh this one looks a little little sus, not gonna lie. But uh we'll do the best we can. I'm gonna hit him with the bunny. Alright, I'm gonna hit him with the bunny. Actually, you know what? I'll hit him with some of that fire too. Then I'll switch to my main dude. Hit him with that fire. Move on in for Noel. Oh, shit. Someone's a plant bender over here. He's not calculating that. All right, I'm going to fight. Oh, fuck. Come on. Get out of here. Get him! Good Someone stuff. All right, GG. These guys got absolutely wrecked. Granted, I used like three ults on them. Yep. GG. Woo! That was clean. Someone needs assistance. God, I love the the planning and the strategy to all of this. At least when she normally climbs like this, it doesn't take up any stamina, which is good. All right, here we go. And a couple bird eggs. Feels great, man. GG. God, look at this view, man. This game is so freaking fun. This game is really, really fun to play. I didn't think like a game like Breath of the Wild could be emulated in a way that feels so new yet different. And clearly the combat, like the way that you fight with different characters. Oh shit. I almost did like a fucking self-sustaining combo. Look at this, look at this, hold on, look at this. Oh! Oh, I can stun lock them now. I literally think I can stun lock them. Hold on. Let me try that on this guy real quick. Look at this. Look at this shit. This shit's clean, bro. If you start the combo, like, and then you evade forward, you can follow it up and just, like, lock them forever. Holy shit. That's great. Nice. And I haven't even, like, upgraded Noel at all with anything yet. Yes. I don't think all enemies will react this way, like being knocked back in that way. I think it's just these like, these goblin type of characters, or maybe just humanoid characters in general. But yeah, I just discovered that. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's a thickums right there. That's a thick boy. 
I don't think that's guy. I don't think my combo is gonna work on that guy. Hold on, let me let me go over here and grab this real quick. Yo, look at this, dude. Look at the nighttime sky, my guy. The moonlight and all that. All right, Noel, teach this guy what for. Okay, this. Oh shit! He's charging right at me. All right. Oh, this guy's tough. Oh. All right, this guy literally looks like he hurts. Leave it all to me. And he's got a fucking shield. Hold on. I'm trying to burn that shield down. Can I burn that shield, like, off of him completely? Oh, I did! Nice! That's exactly what I wanted. Holy shit. Woo! All right, this is like my first real challenge. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. I got okay. Not that bad. Not that bad. Get him, Demacia! Let's go! Oh my god, that was such a fun fight. <laughs> we got a heavy horn. Good shit, man. I will say Ning helped me out a lot in that fight. She she like took out most of the damage. She did most of the damage there. I will be I'll be honest. Yo, what's up? Kaya, welcome. You've arrived. Oh, I guess. Welcome me, because I just got Concursor. here. Can you smell that? Something must have happened in the temple. I imagine there will be slimes, hilly churls, and hilly churls giving storm terror extra power. Okay. Oh, yes. It is going to be lively in there indeed. No doubt nothing more than a disorderly mob of creatures. <laughs> I like that one. I like that oh, one. <laughs> oh, you're quite the brave one, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. It's a pity that the Temple of the Wolf has been disturbed by such an atrocity. Temple of the Wolf? We gotta fight a wolf monster? That's kind of cool. Let's head in. No one makes offerings to the Four Winds anymore. Yet the old winds never vanish. We need to clear out the temples for the four winds. All right, for the four winds. All right, let's do it. Another one. All right, so this is gonna be the the sec the next temple that we that we take out. Okay. Let me show you how the Knights of Favonius conquer our. Adversaries. Yeah, so I guess they're they're additional characters that you don't get through the story, essentially. All right, let's see what's this what's this all about. Oh, what? Okay, no, okay, he's only in here for the trial. Holy shit! Oh my god, I was like, wait, five mo five party? A five player party? Holy f that's so cool. You get to play as Kaya. Again, like I said, just for the just for this one this one trial, but that's still pretty awesome. I wanna see what his moveset is. Look at this. So he's got like a long sword, like rapier kind of not really a rapier, more like a long sword. It's got like that fencer style going on. So I want to see what his jump, his dive attack is actually. Yeah, similar to my main characters. Um, does he have freeze? Oh, he's got, dude. He's literally Weiss's brother. Oh my god, he fences. Look at this. Look, look at this move. Look at this. Look at this fighting style. Very fencer esque. Piercing, stabbing, swift slashes, but no, they had to give him ice as an attack. Literally, the long lost brother of the Shni, like, he's like Weiss's big brother, not Whitley. Not my, not my Shni. This is like a new, this is like a new and improved Shni. Yeah, he's iced, oh my god. The iced meme will never end, guys. Oh my god. Mm, if I'm not mistaken. The end of the temple Persona 5 Royal has been far behind us, Wait, but it's never gonna go. <laughs> experience. All right, let's... The kind of experience you get after years of dealing with things like this for others. Interesting. If there was water around, opponents may become wet. Cryo skills can freeze water. Hydro opponents and others who are wet, utilizing this elemental reaction to gain advantage over your opponents. 
That is really fucking cool. Look at this. Look at this. Cool it. <laughs> wow. You can freeze enemies. Freeze. Yikes, man. Oh! And this man can teleport. Good shit. Yo, we found the Ice Prince over here. Look at this man. Oh, another. How exactly is it that you're able to channel elemental energy? Uh. It was a very strange phenomenon. Phenomenon. Something strange happened. Occurrence. Mirror, mirror, what's behind you? <laughs> uh, nope. Just use ice. Freeze. There you go. Done and done. Ah! Freeze! God, I love this game, dude. Yo, play this game. Go play this game right now. Or you know what? Still, stay in the stream still, but go play this game. I actually might upload this to YouTube now, believe it or not. I already have Persona and Halo on my on my plate. But fuck. the path ends here. This is a really, Let's use the wind really fun game, up. dude. There we go. There's nothing in any of these. <laughs> okay. Um. Water. Ooh. We can use this to put out fire. Your Good idea. Yo, Paimon's an actual like genius. We should get Jean to give you a title and make you a knight. <laughs> He said the same thing essentially, but way meaner. He was like, wow, should be made into a knight after that logic that water puts out fire. What's Holy shit. <laughs> Underwater spikes. Oh, I mistakes were made. <sighs> I completely forgot ice. Yeah, there you go. It told me after I made the jump. So Speaking I was like, all right, I'm dead. Know? I already know I'm going to die. <laughs> Storm Terror was once one of the four winds. I'm not aware of the exact details. If you're interested, you can ask the acting grandmaster about it. Okay. What happened to this dragon that made him go rogue then? Clearly something happened. Yeah, I like these temples too. They're not like ridiculous brain is that teaser the shrines. That Storm Terror is using to gain its power? Boss room? Seems probable. Let's deal with it. Is a boss room? This looks like a boss room. Or maybe not. Ah! Never mind. <laughs> Bravo. What a performance. You are, to my surprise, a well-trained knight. The battles you just fought were sights to behold. I mean, you did all the work. What are you talking about? I see you already have the knightly virtue of modesty. Stories of your heroic deeds to save Mondstadt from destruction shall be known throughout the City of Freedom, well into the future. His lips aren't moving when he's talking. That's probably the biggest disappointment of the game. Please do visit me at our headquarters when you have the time. I also know a lovely tavern, if that's more your thing. Yo, who's trying to get sauced? Who's trying to get Quite white rewarding. girl wasted? No. We've seized another temple from Storm Terror's grasp. I can take care of the rest here. Oh? You go take care of other things while I'm at it. I don't know. See you later then. Bye bye. That, that's pretty sus. There's no way hilly turtles organized an ambush like this themselves, not with their limited mental capacity. Hmm. <laughs> Thus you were behind this. What the fuck? <laughs> Nani? That's just a whoa! What the f who the fuck is this? Are they brothers? Yo, fire and water? Fire and ice! <laughs> yeah! They just went anime as fuck! Knights of Aphonius. Always oh, so inefficient. Agree to disagree, but your involvement in this just made things a whole oh, lot shit, more Oh shit, dude! Fire and ice. Do they know each other? Imagine they're like brothers or something. That's so cool. That's so dope. Another character. I I saw his name on the um like when I was doing the gotcha the first time. I didn't pick up his name, but he uses the 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 fire like the big fire sword. Holy shit, that's awesome. That's so cool. That, ju that just went anime with it. I'm like, that's an insignificant enemy. I think I fought one of those enemies just recently. The, um, like the Ice Abyss Mage. 
and I was like, that's it. Just this random ass fodder enemy. And I was like, that's a weird matchup. Ice versus ice. And then the fire dude comes through and fuck shit up. Wow. I am very like, I, I like how the, I completely forgot about the story. Like the story is clearly forming, but it's just like, I don't know. I think the gameplay and the, the atmosphere and the environment of the game is taking the center stage, the combat for me, especially. And then it just reminds you, Hey, you're playing this anime game. But yeah, I definitely, definitely, definitely am enjoying myself with this game a lot.